Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris here from Chris Designs and it is 9.30 but I'm going to do a comment, uh, tutorial on Final Cut Pro X anyway because I don't care. So uh, so let's just jump right into it. So here I got Final Cut Pro X opened and um, as you can see it looks a lot like iMovie which I really like. I like the interface of iMovie 09 or iMovie whatever version you had. It really, I think it really brought out the program. You know, it didn't make it as dull as it Final Cut Pro 7 was, and uh, I really like it like this. So um, let's just jump into some of the features we have here. Um, first thing you can see up here is the event library. Everything's categorized. I like everything categorized. Helps me when I'm editing. Helps me see where everything is, as the purpose of categorizing everything. But um, you see June 16th, June 5th, May 27th. These are all the dates that I acquired these Modern Warfare 2 clips. Um, my next montage will be done on Final Cut Pro X, so I can demonstrate some of the effects that um, you, we have down here. But, um, yep, everything's categorized up here, just like in iMovie. So if you're familiar with iMovie, then you'll, be, you'll fit in right here in Final Cut Pro X. And importing clips into Final Cut Pro X is much easier than it was in Final Cut Pro 7. Um... If you remember, if you use ITV with Final Cut, uh, you'd have to export in certain different ways. It doesn't matter what you export now, and um, you can just drag it in, and it'll be it'll recognize the the format, and it won't downgrade the quality at all. You can just drag it in, and everything will be fine. I will show you. I'll drag this clip in right into uh, right into the new event, and here it is, full quality. And then from here, you can drag it right into your timeline, and then it plays it out in about three quarters quality, but you can change that. But I recommend you keep it on three quarters um, quality because it's no lag at all and it plays back perfectly. And yeah, so um, here we get, here you guys got your uh, your canvas basically. This is what you you can work with. I mean, you can crop your video here, as you can see. Crop it and do whatever you want. You can rotate the position, the skew. So um, that's basically that. And here is um, here's where you can basically edit the effects that you choose onto your clip. So. Mm, let's go into our effects first and then I'll show you guys up here so here we have our effects and I really like how they designed the effects and um, the filters palette uh, they have a preview of the effect now just like in Sony Vegas and I, I was really jealous of Sony Vegas because it had that feature instead of it because in Final Cut you'd have to drag it in and see what it looked like but here you actually know what the effect is now and before you put it on you can see what it does and whether or not you want to change it or whatever so I really like how they have that and they have all the effects categorized just like in Final Cut Pro 7 um, yeah so we head over to the right and this is your cameras where you can import all your pictures as in you could in iMovie um, go over to the notes all your music and such here's all your transitions they basically kept the, all the basic transitions I'm sure you can buy aftermarket transitions and put it right into here just how it was um, the T is the animated titles. Now here you have the animated titles as you did in iMovie 09. And I like, I like that they brought that back into here because I liked some of the, the, uh, excuse me, I like some of the animated titles that they have, and I didn't want to export them, and bring them back, and then bring them into Final Cut. And if something was wrong, I had to redo it. So I'm glad that they put that back in here. And here you have all the backgrounds, some new backgrounds they added, but some pointless ones. But whatever and all the themes that they can use they added a bunch more themes as you can see I really like that and um, I think this is gonna be a great program so let's go up here to the uh, the control the inspector palette or the control palette um, let me just put on a let me just put on a uh, effect here here we'll put on tint and you can see it has a purple tint now if you come up here you uh, hit the drop down tint and you can change it to whatever color you want. See, now I'm editing it in the palette. Now, if you're familiar with Final Cut Pro 7, this is basically your control and your motion tab under your filters. And this is where you can edit. Yeah, you can distort it, crop it, transform it, the opacity, and whatnot. So that's a really good feature. And you can keyframe just as easy as you can in this as you can in Final Cut Pro 7. But I will save that for another tutorial. Um... Uh, before I leave anything out, here are all your tools, your select, trim, position, ring selection, blade, um, zoom, and hand, and they all have the commands next to it that you can, the shortcut commands that you can, B is blade, A is selection, or uh, select, yep. So uh, yeah, and then all these different things I will get into another tutorial, but that is just the basis of Final Cut Pro X, if any of you guys wanted to see it. 
Uh, you have all your modify. This is your slow motion. I will get into another tutorial about that. Share. You can import, uh, ex uh, upload it right from YouTube from Final Cut Pro X. You can export it. Exporting is everything's the same. New project, new event. Everything is the same. Just imagine combining Final Cut Pro 7 and iMovie into one big massive program, and that's what you get. So um, I hope everyone enjoyed this video, and I hope you have better knowledge of Final Cut Pro X. Everyone's saying it's a big waste of money, but those are the people that have no knowledge of editing whatsoever. If you have any professional editing skills, you will find Final Cut Pro X very, very helpful. It's very, very clean program, very smooth, very responsive, and I think you guys will you will get your money's worth out of this program or your, this upgrade of Final Cut Pro 7. So um, thanks, guys. This has been Chris, and stay tuned for my next Final Cut Pro X video. Thanks, guys. See you guys later.